Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we are playing Stormworks Build and Rescue. So I've uh, already made uh, several videos of Stormworks. I think it's a pretty interesting game, pretty good game as well. So and uh, the idea is to perform uh, rescue missions as the title says and uh, yes build you have to build uh, vehicles to to do this so we are starting with uh, boats here i have a new boat now a, a medium sized boat i will say and in this mission we have to deliver some equipment so i have to um, load these crates until my onto my uh, boat and uh, the way you do it is that you you interact with uh, objects holding the the e key for example and then you you are binded to that object and you can carry it around uh, sometimes well i have never played o octodad <laughs> but sometimes it can feel like that i've i've seen other um, YouTubers playing Octodad <laughs> and it can get um, I get um, such a feeling so currently well my my boat has some space here at the rear section uh, and I place these blocks like to prevent the the crates to drift away but there's a better way to do it with uh, some railings uh, like you you have um, these elements that um, are not as heavy as uh, as these blocks solid blocks but since i'm in career mode i haven't uh, unlocked the railings so that's why only I'm sticking to the to the blocks and I hope we have good weather because uh, the worst enemy is the weather the weather can turn really nasty I think they did a pretty good job uh, simulating the weather and and simulating like the the, the, the water the water I know that water can be um, pretty difficult, right, to simulate uh, um, the behavior of water and objects in the water, the waves, <coughs> and this uh, game has like this um, voxel style, and for a voxel game, I think they did a pretty decent job with uh, with the water. I think a lot of the game is uh, water simulation and weather simulation. I think a lot of work uh, has gone into it. I'm not sure what they are using. Okay, and my boat is... This boat is relatively slow. Here you can see that I'm 100% throttle. And this is the fastest I can go but that's okay as long as I don't lose the crates now the reason why uh, because I, I, I this boat was uh, I had it in I created it in creative mode that is different from the I don't know career mode I'm playing with survival mode career survival where the boat design is more realistic um, I had a, a middle size engine but currently I I don't have this engine available I haven't unlocked the, the technology and I was looking for this middle size engine and it turns out that it's part of the plane and helicopter um, technology group 
So I need to unlock more parts to um, get this engine. So I have a small engine right now. An alternative to that could be to have two engines and two propellers. Yeah, maybe the also the propeller is uh, too big for... I have like a medium-sized propeller connected to a small engine. Probably this is some sort of uh, mismatch. So currently we're going... Everything is pretty good here. Wow, look at that. Some... Swordfish, I think. And... Yes, they are, those are swordfish. It's the first time I see wildlife in the game. I wonder if you can have... Uh, if you can fish in this game. I, I'm not sure about that. Well, the game is uh, more about... Um, more about rescuing and delivering stuff and people transporting people and goods than fishing okay but the I see that the boat is pretty slow so I will have to change that and currently I think we have an overweight in the rear section due in part to the crates and in part to the blocks so this also needs to be improved but overall I'm happy with my little boat I can sh I think we can just um, let the the helm we can just yes we can leave the helm the boat is going and i can make um, a a small tour <laughs> of the of the ship so i have this rear section here in the cabin where i can um, have passengers i i didn't finish the paint job because I did some modifications uh, as you can see and where you see like the this light color is because pipes are running through so I, I um, discovered that um, that the um, in, in survival career mode <coughs> uh, to build boats is uh, more realistic you need to pipe stuff in creative mode you don't need to do that so if we we can show you from the outside you see that uh, at the top we have the exhaust where smokes smoke is coming out and we have an air intake so this needs to be piped to the engine and at the rear you can also see that we have uh, a radiator heat radiator to cool down the the engine this is also piped to the engine and here you can see the propeller and the rudder so let's continue with our tour this is um, the throttle this button is uh, to start the to start the the engine. Is the starter and this um, dial here, digital screen here, is showing how much electricity I'm generating because I have an electric generator. This is also something I discovered that I was running out of uh, battery power and it was because I didn't have a generator
um, so basically when you have a generator you can pretty much generate all the energy you need but of course since it's going so slow it's not generating as much uh, energy as I would like to this button here will open this hatch and we get to the to this uh, small cabin here where I can have more passengers I have like a, this uh, little small table here as well these are the lights, I think we should turn the lights on let's uh, turn the lights on so we can see better yeah, now the lights are on and in this room I have um, the engine the fuel tanks these uh, are fuel tanks uh, this is uh, the electric generator the the engine is just behind I uh, know behind the generator is the gearbox and behind the gearbox is the engine and these pipes are running all through this uh, through the ceiling from the from the engine and these indicators I have four batteries and it's showing how much power they have well in fact look at this it's 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 working right the generator keeps the the batteries full so this is not a problem I think the the, the problem I have is uh, the speed of the boat so I have in total four batteries just in case I don't run run out of power but yeah pretty we are performing pretty well right now here at the front uh, there's um, yes, uh, some sleeping quarters I can take a nap it turns that taking a nap or sleeping in general it's uh, it's a f it's functional in the game it's not like just to to let the, the time go by but also it will heal you so this is important also if you have bad weather you can just slip the weather away <laughs> so I would say you can just uh, lie in your bed and uh, yes and see if the weather improves so that's the boat pretty much it's a it's a small boat but the, the good thing about the the boat I this boat is that it will keep you dry um, also it has a it has a good capacity right currently I'm transporting three crates something I couldn't do uh, with uh, my little boat that I had before it it was like um, how you call it a, a dinghy I think and here at, at the rear you can see a connector this connector is to to refuel so you ca I can refuel my tanks with that um, also I have two dials here and they're showing fuel consumption so this is the right tank and this is the left tank I see that it uh, takes fuel from a tank at a time it seems this is also changing but I don't know what is it yeah it seems also to consume from that other but it's, it's doing some crazy ah no what I think it's happening is that the level of the maybe the level of the fuel is changing um, no but it's consuming as well I think I don't know 
Um, another button. This is for the lights, I think. That's the horn. No, I didn't. Yeah, there are no more lights. No. I need exterior lights. This button, I don't know for what it is. This is starter. I need to name the buttons. I discover how to name stuff. Before I didn't know. You can there 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 are there are these uh, component properties that you can change. Also for the gearbox, the gearbox was not working properly. With a with a gearbox, you can, for example, go in reverse. So this boat has this functionality that I can switch. I can switch the gear and go backwards. But in order to do that, you need to you need to change the properties. I can show that. Well, there's fog. I think I need to blow the horn. It's getting so it's raining. But the weather in general is good. I think some small I, I see some small waves but in general the we weather has been just great so we are getting really close to our destination Yeah, but the, I mean the 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 boat is performing its uh, its intended purpose. It's just that it's slower than I would like to. Um, one thing then that I could do is that I will. One thing could be to have instead of one small engine. Have two small engine with two uh, propellers. Two small propellers. Because probably this propeller is too big for the for the engine. Another thing I could try is to. Uh, this is another thing. I could multiply the the strength of the like to, to have a, a you know what I mean like a higher revolution gear that would make the the propeller spin faster the the thing about that is uh, that I would I would lose the um, the ability to reverse because it, it only has two gears not more but then maybe you, you can make like combination of gears right so you have one gear to go from one speed to the other and to connect another gear that will go in reverse yeah maybe I can I can do that well th this is one thing of the game it, it, it makes you think about engineering and it's based on real equipment real um, 
physical properties of uh, machines and and nature so i think this these are these are my favorite games games that uh, teach things that inspire you to do real stuff in, in the world like to engage in some activity to change the, the world that surrounds you so that's why my motto is changing the world one game at a time I think games can be uh, life changing because from my childhood I remember many games that inspired me to um, learn about science, about engineering and I think that many people overlook this fact how games can be inspiring and to find a game that is not about shooting people up and destroying things I mean I'm not judging that because I play those kind of game as well and I enjoy them and also people don't understand that this doesn't have to do with uh, real life that you're not going to play such a game and I don't know go in a some killing spree this is not realistic um, it's like you you would tell me that you will watch a Tom and Jerry cartoon sorry for the <laughs> old-timey reference and you will go to kill uh, mice that that's that's not how it works <laughs> so um, so I'm not judging th this these games and also these games teach also things they, it's not like they are useless uh, it's just that um, there are some games that uh, hit a fiber w in me that inspire me to um, do something uh, really useful in, in real life so for example I've played games uh, that uh, involve electronics and this this is uh, this has in inspired me to create uh, gadgets that um, electronic gadgets that will solve uh, a certain problem so not not all the games are the same um, even if you have only fun with a game this is already useful because I think our lives uh, we need to have fun in, in, in our life this or is this, this already is helping oh it's we're like freezing now I'm not sure how that freezing um, bar works exactly I know that sometimes I see it up here uh, I have the notion that if uh, the cold bar is depleted then you will start to take uh, cold damage but I'm not sure so we are delivering some equipment to this nuclear plant I also like I, I like the general feeling of the of the game like you have like these oil platforms nuclear plants um, hangars like playing hangars all sorts of uh, like um, buildings I like the the, the, the feel to it like you, like um, you are part of a functional world that there's some industry going on I don't know how your actions affect the world though this 
this is something that I, I am looking forward to like uh, to see how it seems to me that there are some missions that have some follow-up like if you complete a mission then um, some other mission will be unlocked and it depends on the previous one but I'm not I'm not very sure about that. Okay, now um, I have to figure out how to other. Ah, yes, I will. I have to. Enter into this uh, docking area. very slow sometimes uh, the engine uh, stops if it doesn't have if there's no not enough throttle get as close as possible but it's really difficult to to control stop it there okay so we can we can deliver the goods Uh, this will be easy to pick from here frequently I find myself uh, swimming in, <laughs> in this game so this is one thing that a little shortcoming I think that it's hard to um, for example park your boat exactly in a way that you don't have to swim well here in this case we can manage not to get wet but um, yeah here for example <laughs> that was really difficult for me to avoid but uh, the character is a good swimmer so there's not much oh I think we have to take the elevator Let's see if we can fit. Ah, no. What did I do? I didn't want to do that. Okay. So, let's see if we can fit the crates in the elevator. It seems so. No, oh, there's a lot of space. Okay. Now, let's take... Well, this is a mini game in itself. Like, handling crates and stuff. Uh, so research is done
Oops. Okay. No problem. Okay, now up. Yeah, we fit with uh, all the crates. Well, this these things is really cool. All these contraptions that we find in the game, all these elevators and cranes and whatnot, many things. So it start to get get windy. So delivered one crate. And thinking in retrospect, I mean, when I think about uh, Thunderbirds, the TV show, I love that game so much. And the thing about that TV show was the all these vehicles and machines. This is what we really liked. And they were um, not only cool machines, but they were uh, models, like... How do you call that? Like all this diorama stuff, like this uh, m scale modeling, all the work put into it. It was so cool. And when I think, well, you don't really need, um, again, I'm not judging anyone, but really you don't need, I completed the mission. Great. You don't need really violence to, to make a, a show interesting also a video game and I, I see this in this um, in this game right like the the thing about it is um, these rescue operations they can be so thrilling right okay so we completed our mission um, Let's see if I can show you. If I hit on the map, this is the, the world map I'm currently in. And as you as you go around the world, you discover new parts of the game and of, of the map. Sorry, of the world that I think is uh, yeah is procedurally generated. Definitely. And um, you have these refuel locations where you can refuel your tank for a price. And also you have... Um, you have these um, bases that you can buy. So as you uh, earn money, you will buy new bases and you will expand your activities so that's uh, very cool now uh, I want to show the, the the boat in the workbench so you see the, all these are pipes that are going uh, from the engine that is placed here to the exhaust, to the air intake, to the radiator and to the fuel um, connect connector. And inside, let's take a look at the engine. So here's the engine, it's a little bit hard to see, this one here is the engine and uh, it's a small engine and these are the fuel tanks, 
this is the gearbox this is the electric generator and these are the batteries one two three four batteries uh, this is the fourth battery there okay and I what I did is that you have this select here uh, mode selection mode and you can click on the gear and you can see here that it has two uh, ratios or two gears basically one is a uh, one to one and the other one is one to minus one this other ratio is the the reverse so maybe I could have um, what are the other ratios? Six to five, three to two, nine to five, two to one, five to two, three to one. Hmm, but I don't know what would this do. I'm not sure about this ratio now. If one to one, I think this is like the strongest. Uh, gear probably I don't know if the other ones are are really faster will will make the boat go faster I have to test this because I'm not sure how they work but if you need like uh, to have more than uh, two ratios I think you would um, have uh, you can make combinations of uh, gearboxes okay but i will leave it there so i hope you like the video that you enjoyed and we'll see i hope you uh, we will have you in the next video as well so this is ivor settler signing off